Brilliant. What a way to catch up. <laughs> and now we begin Mass Effect 2 with the rebuilding. Commander Shepard has Shepard. been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. If you're wondering who Miranda is, she is basically the clone daughter of the Elusive Man, basically. She's part of Cerberus. Gotta be thankful to Cerberus for something. They brought me back to life. I'll give them that much. Put their faith in Shepherds for a good reason. It's more robotic now than anything. He's like Barry Sheen. If you're wondering who that is, that is a Movie GP rider. English Movie GP rider. Probably. I think he's probably got less machines in his body. Like more metal, less than Danny Pedroza. Danny Pedroza, bless him, he's like a five foot four MoGP rider from Spain. On the monitor, something's wrong. He's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. I know that voice. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. <laughs> yeah, that is up the side. It's not working. Another dog. Now. If you're wondering who the voice is for Wilson, heart rate dropping. Don't They're know the actor's name, but I know he voiced the uh, English dub for Zabusa from Naruto. If you remember who that is, that's the Miss Ninja, who takes on uh, Kakashi Hatake and uh, Team Seven, basically, with. Uh, his little mist companion. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. Bloody hell. I just woke There's up and now you want me in combat. I'm more of a synthetic now. I mean, I know I had like metallic elements in my body, but there's more synthetic energy in me now. Interesting. I wonder if that might actually improve my biotics. Jesus. You fucking bitch. Bring your ass back, I'm gonna beat you up. Good job. Right there, Jacob. Work in progress. I just woke up. You probably know more than I do. Right, sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Two years? 
I'm having some trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, Jeez. I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Let's get out of here then. Maybe it's time we got moved. First step, let's finish off. I'll worry about the crew bastards. later. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Still got it, I see it. Oh, I can use disruptor rounds. This station before we go anywhere I need some answers sure what do you want to know the last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up did anyone else make it just about everybody survived a few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out navigator Presley was killed by an explosion but everyone Damn. else including the non-alliance crew the Asari Liara and the Quarian they all made it out alive do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. I wonder why they left. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! bunch of explosions next thing I know every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us I'm guessing it had to be an inside job you'd need top security access to hack all the mechs when I first woke up someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio we lost contact just before I ran into you Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer she led the Lazarus team it was her job to bring you back to life no matter what should have guessed she'd try to save you She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. I wonder what no made him move from the Alliance to Cerberus. Must have been the pay. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere yeah. else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details, you'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. I wouldn't be surprised if I was actually a clone, because, you know, I feel like that would be a bit too expensive to bring the real Shepard back, really. It would make an awful lot more points as to how, like, you know, your character creation can, like, change their faces. I mean, especially if it's, like, a clone of you, basically, you know. It's weird. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're <sighs> after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of ex- I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security What's access. the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. The bottom, Anyone maybe? on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind, you need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Bastards got me in a leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <clears throat> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. 
Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. So glad I still have unity. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what Feels you so weird to hear do you even have Zobbs' voice actor place? again. You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find You can Miranda. see my renegade burns on my face from the Miranda. previous game. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. We can overload okay. the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. Tag! It's next to the window quit. Imagine if I just blew up the crates whilst they're still there. The fastest way to the shuttles is through those canisters. Can I just... Oh, okay. Oh, I have to use overload, okay. That's, That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, you just throw a flashbang? But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. I know you Lazarus work for Cerberus. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once that's we're fair. off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Why are you after? You must have some reason for bringing me back. Tell me what's going on. All gotta come from the boss, Shepard. As soon as we're safe. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda. Hello. But you were... Dead? Dead. What the hell are you doing? He was a traitor. My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, exactly. since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, commander? Yes. How is it you don't know that you're a clone? I'm just really surprised that you don't know. You show up as we're leaving. Where were you Maybe she does. Attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's uh, right. 
We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Well, clearly, hence from him, uh, from her shooting Wilson. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. I could just kill you and take the ship myself. You don't have all the cards here, do you? I still have a pistol with exactly eight rounds in. Three to put into you, the rest to put into Jacob. So I suggest being a little bit more cautious. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Well, true. God, that shit is badly rendered. <laughs> <laughs> My Before face, it's so Elizabeth scarred. Man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda, more tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. Damn. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? A coups, yes. I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you, if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. Damn. You're the only one who lived. Fifty? Satisfied, Miranda. Wow. Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley, Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? It was a hard choice. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. I'll be frank, I'm here standing and in the flesh. I feel like that should be proof enough. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Nothing you say is going to convince me to trust you. I need more than words. I'd be disappointed if I could persuade you that easily. Go and see for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Right.
The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. Is there a problem here? For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Quite simply, it doesn't matter what liabilities I bring to you. I'm here to stop the Reapers. That's all that matters, really. If it means I have to walk over a couple of dead Cerberus corpses to save the world, then I'll gladly do it. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? No. I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Where'd you train? Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Fair enough. She knows what she wants. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. Such as? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. I have to say, I'm liking the elusive man more than you right now. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with... Oh, he was afraid is. it might affect your personality, alter your character. Okay, bye-bye. It's obvious bye you're bye. not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. Where, where, where? I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Yes. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. I'm not going to question your motives. We all have our own reasons for doing what we do. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. Oh. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they so could disavow you were any knowledge of us. We were supposed thing. to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Yeah, the Alliance does have that. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Seems a little bit silly, especially if you don't plan how to handle the incidents itself. That's all for now. Yes, sir.